Either way, Chelsea are a lot to be in the top four. Get one. And this is a big blow for them, by the way. Yeah, yeah. But this season, huge uh, blow. Third place, locked to be in the uh, Champions League. It, it's a, a big drop point, I guess you could say, for, for West Ham, who were seventh. Uh, their hopes of I'm finishing. I'm just pleasing Chelsea fans this year, aren't I? Look at you. What? A, what? Just, a, well, they just. What, what, my, how the I tables just, have turned. My God. So here Probably we look hit at the me more than Frank. Odds to finish uh, in the top four. Arsenal right now getting the best shot from the odds makers. Craig, I think last week you said Manchester United. Yeah, but like I came. Look, Are you going for a big payoff? No, no, I came back. Yeah, Arsenal were struggling, had yeah. lost three in a row. Tottenham, it's a rocky road. Mm -hmm. And and quite frankly, I just threw Man United in there. That was before the Liverpool game away. I think it's an absolute disgrace at this. I mean, we've we've talked Man United till the cows come home. That's who. This is who Arsenal and Tottenham have got left. Arsenal have just. Hit a little bit of form again, right? Which is good for them. You know, got to go to West Ham. They've got European football in their mind. Leeds are fighting for life. Then they've got the London Derby, North London Derby, huge. Newcastle are flying. <laughs> Newcastle have, you know, you know, mid table. And then obviously Everton. We don't know what scenario Everton are going to be in. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's just big games all round for these two. Uh, but yeah, Arsenal are in, are in the box seat. But what my point being is. I think it's an absolute disgrace having spent the budget that United have spent and the players that they've brought in that they can't even be above those two clubs there. Mm. I mean, what an absolute shambles that is. And, you know, <laughs> if the week couldn't get any worse, there was the performance at Anfield and then the defeat at, uh, at, the, at uh, the Emirates. I mean, my God. Yep. They, I didn't think they could stoop any lower. <laughs> But United are absolutely rock bottom. If United fans are worried, um, what about Spurs fans here, Don? Scoreless draw against Brentford. Another game with no shots on goal. Not what you want in the chase for the top four. Yeah. No, just when you think Spurs have got it cracked, when they won four on the spin, you think, right, that's them. That's them top four. I think we all probably would have said at the time, yep, fancy Spurs. Then they go through a couple of games, like you said, where they lose against Brighton. They don't score at the weekend. And then their next two is Leicester-Liverpool. So you look, at, you look at Tottenham, you just think, I don't see a run in them. Un unless they like to play against the Leicesters and the Liverpools of this world like they did against Man City, unless that's their, that's their way forward in terms of defending, counter-attack and hit teams on the break. But when they're trying to beat the lower sides, if you like, where they're dominating the ball, they just can't do it. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.